Hi, I'm Jamie from a and &E Construction. You're watching Build with a and &E. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how we find out the pitch of a roof and how we convert that into an inverted burst mouth and a seat cut. Before I go through the pitch, I'm going to talk to you about this wall plate. Now, on a new build, the wall plate would normally be on the interior part of the brickwork. On the old traditional buildings, it'll be exterior. Now, in this case, they've gone for the centre. What we've done is we've replaced it all because it was twisted. And we've gone for the same timber, 4x4, and put it in the same position and kept it parallel with the joists. And now I'm going to show you how to work out a pitch of a roof. So you need a six foot level, a two foot level, and a roofing square. But let's pretend these are old timbers because that's what they would have been originally. You get your six foot level on your rafter and you get your roofing square, put it on the levels and just plumb it up. You gotta get it dead plumb. Okay, so now we've got it plumb. You can see where it says degrees on the roofing square. It's pointing at 31 degrees, so that's how we know the pitch of the roof. The next step is to convert it onto your wall plate, so your inverted burst mouth and then your normal burst mouth. We're just going to do a little template so you know how we got this on the rafters that we've already done. It's very important that you always use this pivot point here. So when you get like that, if your roof was 15 degrees, it would be 15 degrees. Our roof is 31 degrees as we worked out on the rafters. So mark it to 31 degrees. There you go, 31 degrees there. We've got 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. Now put a line here and we know that's our plumb cut. Now I'm going to move down a little bit just so we've got enough room. Go back to 31 degrees. There we go. Right. Now if you look on the timber we now know that we need to leave 140 mil in the timber okay what i'm going to do i'm going to do it off 100 here and go for 240 just it's a bit more precise like that and 240 there now it's very important when you're working with seat cuts is you have to get this square that's why it's good to have a big square so you get all the way across your timber see that square and that's a perfect square there now we need to measure the wall plate so we know how far we're coming across it's 100 mil so we're going to measure 100 mil again I'm gonna work off 100 mil so it's a bit more precise and then 200 there so that's 100 mil there now we're gonna square it through again see nice and square there we go and that's the point that we're taking out. That is where that wall plate is going to sit. This is just generally squaring it up, making sure you get a nice square cut. So I'm gonna cut that out now and we'll offer it in. In most cases, you don't have a cut like this. You have an inverted burst mouth or a seat cut. Now we've gone for this so we can get a good mechanical fix in all the way around. Now we've done those cuts, we're going to go cut it with a jigsaw along this line here. Got the jigsaw ready. Now it's always good to have a nice sharp blade so we give it a nice clean cut. When you're cutting timber this side, it's always good to let the blade do the work. Because if you start to push it, you see these blades are very flexible. It will tend to drift off at the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to curve it so we get a nice smooth action here. Because if you go in and turn it, you'll give a lot of tension on this blade. Again. Got a little off cut here. We're just going to try it and see if it's nice and square. There we go. So, in theory, when we take it up, it's going to fit. Now, if all the measurements are correct, this should fit in here nice and snug. So moment of truth. 
perfect. Nice and tight around the wall plate, which is really good. If this was an existing rafter, we'd have to cut it longer, like all these originals, and we'd have to cut this plum at the front. Now we've left these long, so we can cut them nice and plumb with all these existing. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. You've been watching Build with A&E. We'll see you next time.